गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अ न्यू टॉपिक फ्रॉम द पेपर वन दैट इज एडवांस कंट्रोल एडवांस पोल्यूशन एंड कंट्रोल टेक्नोलॉजी फ्रॉम दैट द फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज रिगार्डिंग द वॉटर एंड द सेकेंड टॉपिक इज रिगार्डिंग द एयर सो वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अ स्मॉल पोर्शन ऑफ द स्मॉल टॉपिक फ्रॉम द एयर पोल्यूशन कंट्रोल टेक्नोलॉजीज दैट इज यूनिट टू and in that unit you can find out the topic that is automobile exhaust control so you know that mm, the pictures is uh, uh, in the picture in which you can see that the most amount of the pollutant are liberated from the vehicle itself so the passenger vehicles are the major pollution contributor and uh, producing these uh, vehicles normally they produce a significant amount of nitrogen oxide they normally used to produce the nitrogen oxide carbon monoxide and other pollutants such as hydrocarbon so in 2013 it is seen it has been seen that the transportation contributed more than half of the carbon monoxide and nitrogen oxide so in 2013 it has been seen that the half of the carbon monoxide and nitrogen oxide is contributed by means of the these vehicles and uh, the almost the hydrocarbon composition was a quarter of it so you can say that the these are the uh, vehicles are the major source of the air pollution so the exhaust emission are produced by these exhaust emissions are or the pollutants in the air are normally produced by cars buses and the motorcycles and uh, the three basic type of exhaust emissions are the emissions from these uh, sources that is car bus and the motorcycle are normally three types that is first one is said to be the hydrocarbon next is carbon monoxide which is considered to be very dangerous and the third one is oxides of nitrogen so you must know the uh, pollutant which is liberated out from these vehicles and these pollutants are nothing but the hydrocarbon carbon monoxide and the nitrogen oxide so what are hydrocarbons normally these are the compounds which are uh, or certain uh, compounds which resulting from the release of unburned fuels so when this occur or when this is emitted when there is a unburned fuel the fuel is not uh, fully burn or in insuff ins insufficient supply of oxygen if it is burn fuel is burn then the hydrocarbons are liberated into the atmosphere and this is produced by incomplete combustion or the fuel or uh, by fuel evaporation so you can say that hydrocarbons are produced uh, Uh, by the incomplete combustion of the fuel and they are mostly related to the ignition problem so if there is an ignition problem then only the incomplete combustion will take place takes place and the hydrocarbons are liberated into the atmosphere now what are the effects of this hydrocarbon normally the effect could be the eye throat and the lung irritation and possibly sometimes cancer so we can say that these gases are very dangerous for the health of the human being next coming up to the next gas that is said to be carbon monoxide so it is again one of the emission and uh, it is extremely toxic emission it is considered to be one of the very toxic emission of all that emissions and it is resulting from the release of partially burned fuel so it is again released by means of the partially burned fuel or incomplete combustion of the petroleum or fuel will liberates this um, dangerous or toxic carbon monoxide so carbon monoxide prevent human blood cells from carrying oxygen to the blood tissue so it uh, uh, binds more frequently than the oxygen 
blood so you can say that this carbon monoxide readily binds with the oxygen blood or uh, oxygen of um, more than more frequently than that of the oxygen of the blood blood ke sath wo bind hota hai and it uh, uh, what it does it does not allow so it does not allow or it prevents the carrying oxygen to the blood tissue body tissue so if there is no oxygen um, for the human being or if it is not inhale oxygen so the person will not survive what are the symptoms the so normally the symptoms are headache so if the carbon monoxide presence is high then one person can feel headache nausea blurred vision cannot see properly and fatigue fatigue means weakness so these are the certain symptoms which is faced by a person when they are exposed to the high amount of carbon monoxide and a rich in air fuel would increase carbon monoxide um, and lean air fuel mixture would lower the carbon monoxide emission so you can say that if a pure poor, pure um, or poor quality of the fuel is utilized then carbon monoxide emission is high and if a good quality of the fuel is used then the emission of carbon monoxide is low next coming up to the third gas that is nitrogen oxide yeah fir you can say that oxides of the nitrogen so these nitrogen oxides are produced by extremely high temperature during the combustion so again um you know that uh, carbon monoxide these are produced by the incomplete combustion of the fuel and also the uh, other gases like uh, we have seen hydrocarbons this is also produced by the incomplete combustion of the carbon uh, fuel incomplete combustion of the fuel so uh, nitrogen oxides they are produced when there is a high temperature during the combustion combustion ke time mein bahut zyada hi high temperature agar uh, maintain hua tab ye nitrogen oxide produce hota hai and the air normally you know that uh, air it is consisting of 79 percentage of nitrogen and 21 percent of oxygen this is the normally the combination of the air and uh, with enough heat if the temperature increases above 1370 degree celsius the nitrogen and oxygen in the air fuel fuel mein agar nitrogen air air ka jo fuel hai isme agar nitrogen and oxygen normally present rehta hai they used to combine and they form nox and these nox are emitted into the environment so an engine with a high compression ratio अगर कोई इंजन का हाई कंप्रेशन रेशियो है लीन एयर फ्यूल मिक्सचर है मतलब पोअर क्वालिटी ऑफ द फ्यूल है एंड हाई टेम्परेचर है थर्मोस्टैट एंड विल प्रोड्यूस देन इट विल प्रोड्यूस कंबशन हीट हाई कंबशन हीट एंड दिस विल रिजल्ट इन द लिबरेशन ऑफ दिस नॉक्स सो वेन दिस नॉक्स आर लिबरेटेड नॉर्मली दिस नॉक्स आर लिबरेटेड वेन देर इज अ हाई टेम्परेचर ड्यूरिंग द कंबशन so these are the three uh, emissions which are liberated from the vehicles now engine modification related to the emission control so we have to control this emission we have to control this hydrocarbon we have to control this carbon monoxide we have to control this nox which is liberated into the into the air so we have to control all this emission so how to control this emission the one of the um, important um, method you can say that or one of the most important important solution is engine modification related to the emission control so if we uh, um uh, you can say that if we do any type of modification in the engine when then we can uh, control the emission and uh, uh, under this the points are the first point under this is lower compression ratio so lower compression ratio can be maintained when we use the unleaded gasoline and this unloaded gasoline leaded gasoline 
it permits the use of catalytic converter and they used to burn completely to the lower hydrocarbon emissions so if we use unleaded gasoline uh, it will allows the catalytic converter to burn it completely and lowers the hydrocarbon emission and next is the uh, smaller combustion chamber surface volume so this can be achieved by the lowering the amount of heat dissipation agar hum heat ko dissipate hone na de then uh, uh, this uh, reduction of the hydrocarbon emission can be achieved and reduce the chance of fuel condensation fuel ka condensation nahi hona chahiye and dusra heat dissipation ko kahin pe rokna chahiye and the last one is reduce quench areas in the combustion chamber so while modification of the engine if these things are considered then the it uh, lowers the um, emission of hydrocarbon as well as the carbon monoxide next is the catalytic converter so uh, the fuel is already burned now it should pass through the catalytic converter and the um it get converted into the non toxic gases the toxic gases normally that is hydrocarbon carbon monoxide and the nitrogen oxide this normally the gas uh, this is the emitted gas after the fuel is burned and then it passes from here and then it get converted into the water vapors that water carbon dioxide and the nitrogen so these are the liberated gases which is the harmless gases you can say that they are non toxic gases and can be present in the atmosphere doesn't harm the um, organisms or the any type of hum, uh, or organisms on the earth so how will you define the catalytic converter the catalytic converter is a vehicle emission control device ye ek prakar ka control device hai d e v i c e so it is one of the type one of the type of the control vehicle emission uh, control devices emission ko wo control karke fir baad mein uh, non toxic to सॉरी टॉक्सिक टू नॉन टॉक्सिक फॉर्म में कन्वर्ट करता है सो हाउ विल यू डिफाइन इट सो इट इज अ वेहीकल एमिशन कंट्रोल डिवाइस दैट इज यूज टू कन्वर्ट इट इज यूज टू कन्वर्ट टॉक्सिक बाय प्रोडक्ट टॉक्सिक बाय प्रोडक्ट इंटू अ लेस टॉक्सिक सब्सटेंसेस इंटू अ लेस टॉक्सिक substances so you can define it as it is an exhaust emission that control devices or it you can say that it is an exhaust emission control device hai ek prakar ka that reduces the toxic gases and the pollutants in the exhaust gas from an internal combustion engine into the less toxic pollutant by catalyzing a redox reaction matlab ye catalytic catalytic converter mein jo uh, toxic gases hote hain get converted into the non toxic forms so toxic forms toxic pollutant convert into the non टॉक्सिक और लेस टॉक्सिक सब्सटेंसेस या फिर फॉर्म्स सो दिस इज द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ द कैटेलिटिक कन्वर्टर नेक्स्ट इज अ व्हीकल एमिशन कंट्रोल सिस्टम सो इफ वी वांट टू कंट्रोल द व्हीकल एमिशन हाउ टू कंट्रोल दिस एमिशन so the type of converters normally there are two type of converter one is mini catalytic converter which is used in place close to the engine exhaust manifold wo oh, engine exhaust ke uh, engine exhaust manifold ke just uh, side mein hota hai it is placed just close to the engine exhaust manifold and dusra hota hai two way catalytic converter and can only reduce the hydrocarbon and carbon 
monoxide. A two-way catalytic converter normally what it does, it converts the hydrocarbon or it can reduce the hydrocarbon and carbon monoxide ko to reduce kar sakta hai. Two-way, huh? what does the function of two-way? It converts the HC and CO, carbon monoxide, but it does not have any um, facility to convert the NOx. NOx ko convert nahi kar sakta, but it can only convert, reduce the hydrocarbon and the carbon monoxide. So you know that carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, SOx, NOx, these are the normally pollutant which is present in the atmosphere and they are liberated not only from the vehicles, so this is a liberation from the vehicles. Next, it is also liberated naturally as well as the manually. So in this way, the pollutants are present in the atmosphere in different forms. So what are the sources? So the sources may be evaporation from the fuel tank, uh, five percentage. So the liberation of these emissions, that is exhaust emissions, may be from the uh, fuel tank. So here you can find the fuel tank is somewhere here. So liberation from the fuel tank. Uh, sometimes uh, the gases, it escapes from the crank case. So crank case is somewhere here it is present. Next is the tailpipe emission. 60 to 70 percent of the emission is from the tailpipe. So this is the tailpipe and carburetor. This is the carburetor. Uh, so evaporation from the carburetor from the float ball or then or uh, ball on old cars. So normally these are the different sources of emission uh, from the vehicle. That is fuel tank. Uh, 20 to 25 percent emission from the uh, crank shank from the tailpipe 60 to 75 percent of the emission and from the carburetor uh, or from the old car uh, normally the emissions can be seen so there are the three ways to control the pollution teen ways we can pollution ko control kar sakte hai. air pollutants ko control kar sakte hai. from the vehicles first one is improve combustion agar hum combustion process ko improve karte hai, incomplete combustion agar nahi hota hai sorry uh, incomplete combustion agar hota hai then the hydrocarbon and carbon monoxide and nox will be liberated so if we avoid the an incomplete combustion of the fuel then we can improve the air quality so improved combustion should be there next is the capture the vapors if the vapors are liberated that should be captured and then it should be reburned and next is treat the exhaust each and every time we have to treat the exhaust so this is the three way by which we can control the pollution so we are going tomorrow we are going to continue the same topic uh, from the same subject so thank you, thank you for watching, see you tomorrow.